a surface which is basically like a giant mesa or a desert. And these are the scientists that he sat there and watched make gum and fail. So, did you know that like the Native Americans, the Native Americans, and the ancient Greeks and people from back in the days, two of them. First of all, this is the Elyria Schools Science Fair. It's a hosting of Westwood, Eastern Heights, and Northwood students, grades six through eight. Um, we're focusing on uh, increasing the interest in science. So we have students that come up with their own projects and then have to demonstrate or explain what their project is here at Elyria High School. The judging process involves sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders. They're separated by their grade levels and then they are judged by Elyria High School science teachers. The students can come up with whatever type project they want, but they have to be able to justify their answers that they get in the long run. My project is about how much grease is in different types of potato chips. As a consumer, you should be looking for baked because it actually showed no grease residue when I rolled it out on the cutting mat to where the Doritos is actually, it actually looked kind of gross because there was so much grease left. So you should probably be looking for oven baked. If you need to watch your health, then you should definitely go for the oven baked. But if you don't really care in a sense, then you can do whatever you want. What got me interested was I like to know what I'm eating because I think it's kind of gross when you see all the preservatives that's in things. So I just wanted to see which was better for me and which wasn't. In my project, I was trying to see the different, if the which one was more accurate, the trebuchet or catapult. And the trebuchet was more accurate, but the catapult hit the target the most. I got the trebuchet, which works by you, you put a projectile in the pouch and then you put weight on the other end and when you you put a pin through the through whatever's holding it together and when you release it it launches the item uh, I did it up against a catapult which works by using tension and ropes springs or coil or cords and when you release the arm, it'll launch the eye. And you can tension it to whatever you want it to. Yeah. I'm doing cymatic frequencies on matter. And here is a um, example of what I could be doing here. Um, I could show you one. I'll show you a test when my bow is dying. So, so when I stroke the, the plate, different frequencies and hertz will be played through it. So wherever the sand collects is where it's the, free, uh, the um, noise is not coming through. So everywhere else is where it, the noise is coming. And you can, it says that right there in the history. So um, if I go like this, you can see it kind of forms an X and then I, Alexander Graham Bell used cymatics and researchers are using cymatics too. My experiment is about do different colors absorb heat differently? And what that is, is I got two identical jars, filled them up with equal amount of water, and then I took two different types of paper, one foil paper and then one black paper, just regular construction paper, and then I Put them, I sat them down for about an hour and then I put the same temperature and stuff. And then I figured out which one, after like about an hour, which one had the warmest water. And I figured out that the black one had the warmest water because the foil paper, the heat just bounced off the foil paper and did not change the water temperature that much. But the black paper changed it the most and heated. My hypothesis was that the black was gonna change but I thought that the foil paper was gonna change too, but it didn't.